and have it in your heart that when we speak of that, it's to let the good Father pray and ask God to do it with all patience. Father in heaven, we're so thankful tonight that we know you as our closest faith. We know, Lord, that you are our king. You can break us loose from the things that hinder us from you, causing us problems and just can't seem to ever get rid of, Lord. Lord, we know that you're here tonight. You're here with us. And God, if there's anyone here tonight, Lord, that needs to lift in your arms, Father, we pray for that person. Pray, Lord, that you would touch if it's sickness or whatever the problem might be, Father. Lord, if it's finances or, or whatever the problem might be, God, tonight we pray that your hands and hands you to intervene. God, it's in Jesus' name we thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. This time we would continue to evening offering. said the other night, so Peter walked down this aisle one night, one day, that faith in her hands, <coughs> determined, God knows her heart. So sister, if you have a question tonight. Father, we're so grateful and thankful, Father, for your very presence, Lord. We thank you for every blessing, Lord God, every spiritual blessing, Father. Thank you for the opportunity to give to you, Lord God, and ask you to bless us often, Father, in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen.
Goes to work tonight. Continue worshiping the Lord. Glory to God. How many of you come to have church tonight? Yeah. Hallelujah. There's a sweet spirit in here, but there's also a binding spirit. Praise God. I'm like Brother Cliff. Now I feel that spirit. And before I, I even read any scripture, I want us all to stand. And I want every saint of God to lift your voices toward heaven. And to bind this binding spirit that's trying to take this service. So this service belongs to us tonight. We come to have church, and we're going to have church in the name of Jesus. Dear gracious Heavenly Father God, we come before you, Lord. God, and as we sung this here song tonight, the chain breaker. God, if there's any chain that needs to be broke tonight, God, we ask that you would break every yoke, Lord God, every chain, Lord God, that's binding. And God, we bind the spirit, Lord God, that's trying to enter into your house tonight. God, we ask for your delivering power, God, here tonight, Lord God, for we know that there's power in the precious name of Jesus. God, and we just ask for your blessings, Lord God, and your grace upon us here tonight. God, and we ask that you would touch, God, each and every heart, each and every mind here tonight, Lord. God, and we ask, Lord God, that every spirit, God, that's trying to grow, Lord God, and move in the mind here tonight. God, that you would touch and you would restore that joy. Lord, and you would restore, Lord God, that thanksgiving in their hearts here tonight, God. God, we ask God for the delivery power. God, the saturated power of the Holy Ghost, Lord. God, to come down to this place tonight, Lord. God, we worship you. We worship you, Lord God, in spirit and in truth. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Praise God. While you're standing, we'll read the word of God. We'll be reading out of First Peter, the fifth chapter. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. Praise God. We'll be starting with the sixth verse. All of you probably know this here verse by heart. You've heard it if you've been in the church very long. You have heard this here quoted over and over. First Peter 5 and verse 6. Or starting with verse 6. Praise God. It reads like this. Humble yourselves before your humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time casting all your cares upon him for he careth for you hallelujah gracious heavenly father once again Lord we ask you, you to touch Lord God your servant and he brings forth your word God, we pray that you would anoint, Lord God, this congregation tonight, Lord. God, in the ears to hear and the hearts to retain your precious word, Lord God. Bless this word as it goes out. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. Hallelujah. I'd like to entitle this message tonight, if I could, Cast All Your Cares Upon Him. Praise God. Brother, Brother Chris, I'm hung up on that all again. Because it's all in Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. He says, humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God. That's saying a lot right there. Praise God to humble yourselves. Praise God. I'm saying humble yes. yourselves, therefore, un under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. Hallelujah. You know, Brother Cliff, our time is not God's time. Praise God. When he come and Lazarus was, was been dead there for four days, you know, Mary and Martha thought, well, 
Lord, if you hadn't been here just a little bit earlier, you could have saved him. But here you are, you're four days late. And he wanted to see that grave. And he began to cry. He began to weep. And he looked beyond. Or looked into that grave. He said, Lazarus, come forth. Yes. Praise God. And we'll humble ourselves before God. We won't have the services to start out like we've started out tonight. Praise yes. God. Praise God. We'll humble ourselves before him. And we come into his house with thanksgiving and praise, Brother Chris. We will have Sunday go to meeting on Wednesday night. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Glory be to God. Casting all your cares upon him. That's all your cares upon him. For he careth for you. Amen. Praise God. How many of you believe that scripture tonight? Amen. How many of you believe that it's the real, unfallible word of God? Amen. Hallelujah. Read with me again if you believe in that verse number seven. That's what I'm wanting to dwell on here tonight. Praise God, casting all your cares upon him, for he careth for you. Yeah, Praise God. So it don't matter what kind of trouble and what kind of trial that you're going through. He said, cast all your troubles, all your cares upon him, and he will hear and he will answer your each and every prayer. It don't get too hard that Jesus cannot touch that situation. Those finances don't get too big that he can't touch that situation. That pain don't get so great that he can't heal. Praise God. But I'm here to tell you tonight, if you cast all your cares, all your cares, don't hold back nothing. Just hand it all to God. Give everything to God. That's what he wants us to do. Give it all to him. And he will answer your each and every prayer. Hallelujah. I want to tell you about a little story that as I was traveling down the road this one day and I looked out the driver's window. Hallelujah. And I looked out and I seen some of the beautiful blue skies that I've ever seen. Hallelujah. And then I was riding on down and as I looked to my right and I looked out the passenger window. Brother Cliff, there was some of the grayest, darkest clouds that I have ever seen. Hallelujah. And I began to look back over to my left. And I seen the beautiful blue skies. And I said, well, Lord, have mercy. What's going on here? And I looked back to my right. And I seen those dark, dingy skies. Looked like every storm that had ever been had gathered up on this side. Hallelujah. And I begin to think, you know, that's just like us today. Hallelujah. In so much, so many of the churches today, you know, we 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 have all these problems, but you know, but I looked and I thought, I says, well, we see the blue skies over here, we see the dark skies over here. I said, but I'm in the same truck. But I'm here to tell you tonight, church. <laughs> Praise God, we're all in this thing together. Yeah. Hallelujah, we're serving the same God. Yeah. The same God that's got you on the mountaintop is the same God that's carrying you through this valley. Yeah. It don't matter who you're going through. It, it don't matter how high you are. Yeah. Praise God. It, it, Cast all your cares upon him. And I said, Lord, just show me what you want to show me. Praise God. And as I studied, I said, Lord, we're looking at some of the greatest storms. Some of us are looking at some of the greatest storms in our life that we've ever had. And then some of us are looking over here at some of the prettiest blue skies and we seem like everything is going right. There's nothing can go wrong. You can find every devil in hell. Hallelujah. But I'm here to tell you tonight that each and every one of us, we're not going to ride on cloud nine all the time. We're going to fight the devil. If you're going to fight the fight of faith, you're going to be fighting the enemy. Praise God. We're going to have rainy, nasty days. We're going to have... <coughs> All the things 
that comes upon you because you know the word of God says on down just a little bit further in the reading it says that the devil your adversary or that old slew foot hallelujah is walking around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour hallelujah and he does just that he don't never quit his job he don't never let up on his job you and I don't have to let up on our job we can keep giving all of our cares all our problems and to our Lord and Master Jesus hallelujah I think about brother Job there's none of us been in here as a preacher preached Sunday on Brother Job, I said, Preacher, I'm thinking to myself, Preacher, you're going to preach for the Lord has laid on my heart. But I'm here to tell you tonight, there's none of us been through what Brother Job has went through. We think we got troubles when we got trials. But we don't have the troubles and the trials as what Brother Job had. Glory to God. God said he was humble. He was perfect. He was upright, brother. Hallelujah. He had humbled himself. He didn't need to humble. God has searched over and yet he told the devil as he walked to and fro, have you considered my servant Job? Praise God. Oh, Lord, help us tonight. Glory to God. I think that as we walk through life, we have a little bump in with the devil. Come on, church. You know where I'm going. Help me preach. Glory to God. You have a little bump with the devil. And we come in and seem like all our victories are all sapped out. Glory to God. But we got to cast every care upon him. For he said that he cares for us. Hallelujah. When it, when it comes, those trials, those temptations, just keep your hand pointed toward the sky. Keep your eyes upon that Easter sky. But he said that he's coming back one day. And I believe he could come back tonight. I wish that he would. Hallelujah. I'm ready. I don't know about you. Praise God. But old Job, as he went through life and he and, and he fought this here devil, he lost everything. Everything. I ain't talking about just a little bit of things, brother. He lost everything he owned. He lost his children. He lost his cattle. He lost his camels. He lost his barn. He lost everything. And he was he was a, a man that was a wealthy man. But he lost everything that he had. But praise God. Glory be to God. He said, as he was going through his tortures of the devil, the scripture says, that old Job says, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. When we come in our trials and our temptations, how many of us lift our voices toward heaven and say, Lord, here is all these problems I'm casting them upon thee. Amen. Lord, bless your name and bless him through all these troubles and these trials. Brother said, oh, Lord, me, have mercy on me, Lord. Hallelujah. But then Brother Job also goes, and he says, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Amen. Hallelujah, church. Did you hear what I just said? Amen. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Praise God. Amen. Glory to God. We've none have been under that kind of pressure that I know of. But we we go through our body aches and our pains and we go through surgeries and we go through things, yes, we do. 
but we have none lost all of our children. None lost our house, lost all of our cattle, lost everything that we had. His wife, he was covered in boils from his head to his feet. We cannot sit here tonight, I don't think, and, and really imagine the pain that Job went through with being covered from head to toe with boils. Just a little rise and come up on me, and I feel like a little baby sometimes, can't touch it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Much less being having boils from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Praise God. He said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. My trust is in God above. I'm not, I'm not talking about something that, that you've got favor to. I'm talking about something in an almighty God that can take every situation. It is the answer to each and every problem that we have. So Satan is telling some here tonight that there is no use in trying. There is no need in trying to keep going on. The battle that you're going through, you might as well just go ahead and throw in the towel. But you know the battle's not ours. It belongs to Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Praise God. He thinks he wants you to make you believe that he's in charge. But I'm here to tell you tonight he is not in charge. Right. Glory to God. Our Heavenly Father is large and in charge. Amen. Praise God tonight. You know, Peter said that in due time, he may exalt you. You may be risen up, raised up, in due time, but that's in God's time. You got to keep your faith and believe it and stay humble before Christ. Amen. And He will exalt you in due time. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. But with reading that seventh verse, that lets me know, Brother Cliff, those skies. They will be sunny again. They will be sunny again. So it don't matter how, how doom and gloom the devil may have upon your heart tonight and what troubles and what trials you're going through tonight. When you cast in all your cares upon him, that's letting me know there is victory. There is victory in the, in the name of Jesus tonight. Amen. Glory to God. I want to read to you real quick a, a story that I come up out about. Now, see if you can get out of it what I got out of it. It really touched my heart. It was a story about a man that went in a restaurant. And everything, have you ever been in the place of life and you thought everything that could go wrong will go wrong and it did go wrong? That was this man that went into this restaurant. He had called and he had had reservations. Well, he arrived, he arrived there on time, and as he arrived on time, I'm Mr. Smith. I'm here for my reservation at such and such time. And so he takes a seat. About 20 minutes later, he's finally getting to the table, so he's upset because he, got, he called and made reservations and still had to wait the 20 minutes. Well, they come and they take his his drink drink order. He orders a sweet tea. When the sweet tea or when the tea comes out, yes, it's unsweet tea. Glory to God. He he orders ranch dressing on his salad. When his salad come out, it had blue cheese. Praise God. Then they took his, his order for his steak. And when his steak come out, he had ordered it medium rare. 
And when the steak come out, it was burnt. So by now, he was getting pretty upset. He was getting beyond upset. He was just getting mad. So he began to bless out the, the waitress. Well, then the hostess comes by and he blesses out the hostess. Well, then the bus boy comes and he's busting the table over and he blesses out the bus boy. And about that time, he's, you know, picking his phone up. You know how the social media is now. He picks his phone up and he gets over to Google to do a review on it and put his opinion on Google about this year restaurant, about that time the manager walks up. He says, sir, I know your problem. He says, I've done talk with my waitress and I've done talk with my hostess and I've talked with my bus, bus boy and I've talked with everybody else that would listen to you earlier. And I know what your problem is. And the man told him, oh no, you don't know my problem. I haven't even started telling you my problem. And so the, the manager interrupted him. <clears throat> he says, sir, I know your problem. Well, you were talking with my waitress or talking to the waitress. You should have been talking to the manager. When you were talking to my hostess, you should have been talking to the manager. When you were talking to my bus boy, you should have been talking to the manager. And when you were talking to everybody else that would hear you, you should have been talking to me because I could have made everything all right. Is that not the story of our lives? Praise God. Instead of going to everybody else with our problems, why, don't, why do we not cast our cares and our problems to our Heavenly Father. Amen. For he knows our need before we have. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And I thought that was just like us living today. There's no difference. I see it all the time. Folks getting so upset in, in restaurants about something that's not just right. Everybody I make a mistake. I understand that. But, you know, we take that same thing, Brother Chris, and we apply it to our church life. Things that go on in the church because you didn't get called on, because you didn't get asked to do this, and because you didn't get asked to do that, you're going to take your feelings on your shoulders instead of taking it to this altar. Yeah. Praise God. Glory to God. I'm just speaking what the Lord gave me. Yeah. Glory to God. Praise God. You know, that's what it's going to take for us to get back. As I was praying a little earlier, to get back what I know as old time holiness days. We're going to have to get back to when we enter these doors. We're going to have to come in with praise on our lips. We're going to have to leave all those cares behind us. And what we're going to be doing tomorrow, leave it behind us. What we did today, leave it behind you. But come in those doors with one thing on your mind, that's to worship and to praise God and to glorify Him and give Him the praise for all that He's already done for you and bringing you and let you be able to be in His presence. Glory to God. Got some scripture to read, but the other thought that come to my mind was the children of Israel as they got little, 
delivered from Pharaoh. And they got out in that wilderness. Brother Cliff, they said it didn't matter how good God had been to them. Roll back to the sea, walk across on dry ground. But they get to the other side. And what they did, what did they do? Murmured and complained. Murmured and complained. Never happy that Jesus didn't, or God didn't do enough. Why did he bring us out here? Why are, not, why are we not seeing the land that's filled with milk and honey? Amen. Complaining, complaining, complaining. Glory to God. Does that remind you of some of us sometimes always complaining? But cast all your cares upon him. In it, Isaiah, the 43rd chapter. When you're going through these troublesome time, times, I want you to remember this verse right here. He says, I have called thee by name. Thou art mine. That ought to give you the victory right there. That Jesus is saying, thou art mine. Jesus is laying claim to you tonight as a child of God. Glory to God. It don't matter what the swim foot's telling you. Praise God. He said, Thou art mine. When the water pass, when thou passest through the water, I will be with thee. When thou passest through the river, or through the rivers, they shall not overtake thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Praise God. I don't know if that does anything for you and your spirit, but that fires me up. Glory to God. It lets me know it don't matter what kind of trouble I'm going through, that he's going to pass through the waters. He's there through the flood. He's there through the fire. And the fire is it'd be just like the Three Hebrew boys, the, fly, the flame and the fire of the smoke, You're, you won't even be smelling like smoke. God's going to wrap his arms around you, and he is going to deliver you from every trial and every temptation. He is there. When you pass us through the water, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest in the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle thee. It is not an if, but when. Praise God. It's not going to be if I pass through the water, but when I pass through the water. It's not going to be if I pass through the rivers, it's when I pass the river. It's not going to be if I pass in the fire, but when that fire is coming. Those floods are coming, Brother Chris. Those rivers are going to come, and those rivers are going to raise and rise on you. But we're, we're living by the grace of God each and every day. We sing that song, Amazing Grace. Amazing grace. So many of the good songs like that, Brother Cliff, I think sometimes we just take them for granted and say that's an old hymn, but amazing grace. Think about it. Amazing grace. You would not be sitting here tonight if it wasn't for his amazing grace. Yeah. Hallelujah. Some of you would be in a devil's hell tonight if it wasn't for his amazing grace. I know I would. God's grace is sufficient. And he will bring us through every fire and through every river, through every flood. Praise God. You may say, Brother James, tonight you just don't know my financial situation. <laughs> but if you'll 
Turn over to Philippians real quick, the fourth chapter in the 19th verse. Praise God, it says, but my God, but my God shall deliver all your needs yeah. according to his riches and glory. Hallelujah. Yeah. He said, my God shall deliver you. My God, Amen. your God shall deliver you. Amen. Praise God. According, he will supply all your supplies. All your needs will be supplied according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Glory be to God. I like what Paul said there. Paul said, I don't know who your God is. I'm putting this in my own words. He said, I don't know who your God is. I don't know your financial needs. But I know my God. I know my God. I know my God will deliver. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He will supply your every need according to his riches and glory. Glory be to God. Your Christ, he was tempted in the, in the desert, in the wilderness, by Satan. I know each and every one of us are tempted. But when we're tempted, what did Jesus tell Satan out in the wilderness? It is written. It is written. It is written. So when that sickness comes up, you tell that sickness, it is written. When those pains come up, say, it is written. When you get troubled through financial problems, it is written. When that head pain comes, it is written. It is written in heaven. Hallelujah. Glory to God. For he's wanting us to cast all of our cares upon him. We give God the things that we know that we can't handle and we'll hold to those things that we think that we can handle until we get to a certain situation and find out that this problem that we thought that we could handle is lots bigger than what we are. So when you go back to Paul's writing, he says, cast all your cares upon him. Not just the things that you want to turn over to him that you're going to handle but the other things yourself, but cast all your cares, all your problems to him. And he will take care of all your problems if you believe. That's the key to it all. Is believing. Having faith. But God said, the word of scripture says, without faith it's impossible to please God. Right. Hallelujah. Now Hebrews 11 and 1 now faith is the substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. We've got to hold on to our faith, church. Or if we don't have the faith, we don't have nothing. You don't have nothing if you don't have faith to believe that God is going to deliver you. That God bled and died for you and I that he shed his last drop of blood on Calvary's hill to wash away your sins and my sins. Hallelujah. That we can be redeemed tonight. That his grace 
could cover us from day to day. Praise God. Casting all your cares upon him. But said, Brother James, I, I do believe. I read my Bible. I pray. Reading your Bible and praying is good. But if you don't believe what you what you read, then you don't even have faith in God. If you don't believe what you read, then you don't have faith in God. You got to have faith in God and to believe that He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, Amen. the first and the last. Amen. Hallelujah. That He'll be here. Praise God. Brother, let me borrow you just a minute, please. got Jesus and took him and led him down that hall and he kneeled him down and he got that whip it wasn't no used whip I believe it was a brand new whip never been used before Put those cat of nine tails in. For you that did don't know what that is, that's that's metal, it's like claws in the end. So when it hits the, the flesh, it rips and tears it. But they nailed him down there. They stripped his robe off, stripped his garments down. Then they hit him. Then they hit him. And then they hit him. Then they hit him. But did not know that every time they hit him, that's for cancer. That's for leukemia. That's for my back injury. That's for my aches and my pain. That's for all my sorrows. That's for everything, all kinds of pain. That our Savior bore for you and I. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And then they hit him. And then they hit him. And they hit him. And they hit him. They kept on hitting. And kept on hitting. But then he said, that, but they do not know. They do not know that he was being bruised for our iniquity. Glory be to God. I don't know if that does anything for you. But that's our loving Savior. Glory to God. They took these stripes and then he says, By my stripes ye are healed. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God. So we've got to believe that Jesus bore it all. So then they took him from that that beating and led him on up to Calvary's hill where he bled and he died for you and I. Amen. Hallelujah. He didn't have to hang there and bleed and die. Hallelujah. He could have called those 10,000 angels and took him down off, for it, off of that cross. He didn't have to to shed one more drop of blood. He didn't even have to go through the stripes, but that was the Father's will. And he did that for you and I, for that we could be here tonight, that we could have our healing. But we got to we got to come before him and cast all of our cares upon him and believe by faith. Like the song that we sing so many times, living by faith. We got to live each and every day by faith. Amen. Glory to God. 
Praise God. But they beat him. And they beat him. And they beat him. Over and over. Until his back was just ripped. And torn. And I can just picture in my mind. As they pop that whip. And it snaps that whip. Letting those cat of nine tails just rip. And. And dig, and dig out the back of our precious Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. He bore it all. Glory be unto God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. With every head bowed and every eye closed, I want to come before you and give you an opportunity. God and you only know your situation and what you're going through. But you can cast it all upon him tonight and he'll be more than glad to take every trouble, every pain, every strife, everything that you may be going through he bore it all for you. We know that each and every one that's here tonight is a child of God, a child of every child of God sits here tonight, fights that same slew foot, and fights that same fight of faith that each and every one else in here does. If you've got something that's on your heart, or on your mind that you want to cast it over to the Lord and you want to come forth I would ask you to go ahead and come forth and we'll pray with you I believe God can deliver you you won't leave like you come in Jesus name praise God because God had not given me this here message for it to go out and return boy. There's somebody that's under the sound of my voice is going through trouble in their heart. They did going through trouble in their life some kind of way that you maybe feel like you, well, how are you now? I'm fine. But deep down inside, you're, the waters are troubled. In your heart, it's troubled. But you can turn it all over to Jesus tonight. Lay all, cast all your cares upon him. And he will give you rest tonight. I can assure you that if you come believing, you can receive it and will receive it tonight. There's nothing impossible that God cannot do. There's nothing impossible. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Anyone else? We're not going to prolong the time. You know whether you do or whether you don't want deliverance. If you want it, the opportunity one more time. Praise God. I have the church together around and let's Pray for this sister.
Mike for giving Brother James the message and delivered the message. Yes. And we just thank God. Just thank God. Yes. Let's give him some praise and worship. instructed him all of your care. Remember that tonight when you lay down and Lord willing when you wake up in the morning remember that. Amen. Good to see everybody tonight. So good to see everybody.